Greetings. I hope that you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome to Swaplug. My name is Arijit Saha. Today we are going to take a look at how easy it is to set up Swaplug with any MIDI interface. It could be a MIDI controller like this or a keyboard like a normal keyboard which has got a USB output like something I'm using in here which is called Motif XF or any you know like it need not be a very expensive keyboard. It could be something that just has the basic things or something like this which is the machine micro mark 3 from native instruments though you can play um, any percussive sound using your keyboard like tapping on the keys and everything is mapped like that but sometimes it can be interesting to use something like a beat pad also um, swaplug supports any of the fancy gadgets like uh, the breath controllers to anything like that but it is not a must to have things like that if you have a midi controller it could be a smaller one it could be a bigger one whatever you just have to plug it into your computer laptop whatever you are using if that needs some appropriate drivers you just download them and install it and so plug works on windows as well as mac and on any daw like um, it could be cubase it could be fl studio it could be logic pro x it could be pro tools whatever um, DAW you're using, you could be using the fantastic VSTIs from Swerplug to inspire you to make something amazing. As I will be using this keyboard Motif XF and it has also got this pitch bend wheel and this modulation bend wheel, I would be using these sometimes to, you know, get some modulation and some pitch bending going on to my instruments as well as, you know, like I could be using this to trigger my beats like this and this becomes sometimes really really interesting now let's take a look at the computer screen if you have installed anything from swar vst open up swar dashboard which could be found into your applications folder and make sure you are activated properly and you have everything updated from here so if there are new updates it will suggest in here. So make sure that you have the latest versions so that you can enjoy the best. Once we are here, let's go to our AU instruments because we are in Logic and uh, go to Swer Systems and you can see that we have Swer Groove and Swer Plug installed in here. There is a dedicated video on Swer Groove. You should definitely check that out as well. Let us open Swer Plug. And here you can go and you can see the factory presets or you can come into here like clicking here PGM and you can look into different categories of like drums and winds and like that. Let us say that I would like to have some flute sound like Bansuri like proper Indian Bansuri into my song. I can just select it and hit select. There are a ton of you know um, pre-made loops that can be inspiring to use as well but for say I have some tune in mind and maybe I have some scale that I'm playing with and I would like to create something by myself first I would like to add some reverb to my taste um, let's say it's a hall or like vocal or something like that and let me play something for you doesn't it sound wonderful so if I want to bend or do something like that, you see vibrato, you can hear that vibrato and that is coming while, while I, you know, push that modulation wheel, wheel upwards. So simply all of these parameters are mapped in and if you want to map other things, you can do a lot in here, <laughs> but for most of us, even if we just stick to the basics, um, we are just good to go. Isn't it wonderful? And there are like tons and tons of possibilities that what not you can do with this into your songs. I really love the harmonium sound. Let's say this one. Let me turn off the reverb for this. And harmonium doesn't have a pitch bender. So if I <laughs> use my pitch bend, it would really sound awkward. But anyways. Uh, 
and you can see that there are like pre-made loops into different ragas and all that you can use. Also, I think you can drag some loop from a different instrument and you apply that to some other instrument here and that should work. So you can be as much creative, you know, like nobody is stopping you in here. Let's go to some drum sounds. Uh, let's say tabla. Yeah, why not? Tabla mid. So I could literally play it. I was triggering it via my MIDI controller. Let me try to inspire myself while using something like that machine micro. So I might have to open up the control editor for that and you know like switch the pages in here for my machine to you know like transpose it because I'm using that controller pretty much every time into MIDI mode. Let's say um, I would like some dholak or something like that, ghatam. Oh, ghatam is a really nice choice to play. So you can see there are, there is a lot to choose from like different instruments. Like why not? Let's try this mandolin as well. Let's take a look at the sitar. This sounds good, right? We have another option. Let's try that one. If I put in some reverb, let's see what happens. And you can see that we have lots and lots and lots and lots of options in here. So what are you waiting for? Hop onto our website, suavest.com and get your copy now. And in the next video, let's try making a beat with incorporating these things. What do you say? Make sure to subscribe and I will see you soon. Bahut bahut dhanyawad aur namaskar.